Hi all. Very good evening to you all. I hope I am audible. Can someone say hi if I am audible in chat? Due to some security reason, I just uh, muted everyone. So just say yes in chat. So at least I come to know you guys can hear me. All right, thanks, Ritesh Madhavan. Yes, thank you so much, guys, for just confirmation. So let's start. I hope you guys are doing great today, and uh, excited to start a new journey about the 48 firewall. Right. So the training is going to a uh, live training right on weekdays, on the same time, and uh, we are officially starting from this week. Uh, gradually will go very slow but yes uh, once we having the very good uh, foundation we having the very good understanding then we'll move to the you know very you know deeper dive about to understand the technology right so today's session more about in english uh, we can talk in hindi as well so usme attention ki baat nahi hai but uh, <clears throat> later on once we stop doing the public batches like the open like in uh i mean to say like the like with the webinar then we have to do whatever the language you guys are feel like the hindi or english will go with that pace only okay so just digest uh try to digest today and put your all queries uh in chat okay due to some security reason i just muted for the everyone because it's a public batch so you know uh a lot of people are watching so can you know have the multiple you know destruction during this you know all discussion and later stage when uh, i have done some uh, discussion about the basic fundamental uh, i'll open that and we'll have a like live interaction as well as per you guys you know if you want okay start so welcome you all in the gwinnett technology right and uh, in this platform we having the various kind of the trainings like you guys having any kind of the cisco related training like the sd wan like ccna ccnp cci versa sd wan g scalers the pela polo alto and cloud based training checkpoint in the 5 and today we are discussing about the fortinet so soon you will see the fortinet also here so we are dealing with the different different trainings and anything if you guys feel like i need to upgrade myself just try to contact us Uh, will definitely help you out right all right so it was just short introduction about the training right and i'll be your instructor and i'll be throughout the session i'll help you i'll guide you i'll mentor you to just understand this technology so we have the one of the session in the last to last week i believe and uh, that was a very basic session we have done discussion uh, about the fortinet firewall where i explain about the what is the 14 edge and what is the 40 gate so i'll quickly review that right and i'll quickly brief about that all those things but i'll try to cover new things today so at least you guys having having the new kind of the flavor to understand about the more about the product so until we not have the product understanding until we not have the clear objective of the, you know what actually you want to do then it's very difficult to you know <clears throat> digest something which is your future goal so our objectives should be very clear what would be the our objective and how we are going to achieve those ob objective so that step by step objective i am going to discuss we'll make a plan we'll try to work together and we'll try to achieve those plans right this is like how it is going to happen so it's very collaborative like you guys collaborate with me and i'll going to collaborate with you all and we'll have the open discussion we'll try to understand each other pain area and we'll try to focus and work on those pain area and we'll try to you know uh, give some kind of the uh, uh, like uh, uh, idea how those pain, pain areas can be mitigated right <clears throat> so let's start so as we know fortigate uh, is the product right fortigate is the product and 148 is the company so once we talk about the 148 so 148 is one of the company like with the polo alto is a company cisco is a company similarly 148 is a company in this company we having the lot of 48 uh, 
kind of the products. So one of the product which we are going to cover here, that is the FortiGate product, right? So you can just think about this is the FortiGate firewall. So this product we are going to cover today, but we having the n number of products. Like you can find the Forti switch, Forti AP that is access point. Forti might be you will see the routing stuff that is including the firewall itself. So no special router is going to be required. If you want to get the 40 clients 40 manager so a lot of product we have let me just quickly show you i'm not going to you know rediscuss those things because i have already discussed in the past but i'm just showing you quickly uh, later on we'll have the very deep dive discussion but uh, as we are just uh, understanding the product so let's have the uh, not this slide <coughs> let me yeah so so if I go here, you'll find that we having a lot of product here. So we having the 40 analyzer, we having the 40 CNP, 40 deceptor, 40 security, 40 gate cloud, we having the uh, 40 IRDR, 40 Ethernet switching also, native firewall also. So a lot of product, 40 SD WAN, you can see 40 SIM, right? Uh, 40 trust identity. So for different different purpose, they have introduced different different product. So all product we are not going to cover because every company having a lot of product so as per our in like need my need is to understand the 40 gate firewall so we'll cover and we'll just discuss and focus about the 40 gate firewall so once we start the 40 gate firewall right uh, about this particular course content so we have to understand what is the basically 40 gate so one thing you have to digest it 40 gate is the company sorry 148 is the company and 40 gate is the one of the product so this first thing you have to digest it so always people confuse what is a 40 net what is a 40 gate so you just have to take this your note in your mind 40 net just a company and they develop one of the product that is a 40 gate of firewall and those firewall understanding we are going to get throughout the session so now the question is coming why this 40 net why this firewall right and why this 40 gate firewall come in a picture and similarly this question is going to other vendor as well likewise you are just thinking about the Palo Alto you are thinking about the Cisco so if any product you are going to understand so you just have to like understand why why this product is basically come in a picture what was the problem area and uh, what kind of the you know, problem area it is going to be you know cover that so the problem area was right whatever the product we have right now like was the any firewall you can think about it not only the 40 gate we're just discussing about the basic firewall fundamentals right so here if i'm going to write basic firewall fundamentals so any firewall you can think about it not 40 gate not 14 8 not Palo Alto, not ASA, not other vendor firewalls. You can just think about the any security component which having the functionality of the firewall. So what is the role of the firewall? So the firewall role is simple in term of the to just provide the some safeguard, just provide some some kind of the security, some kind of the protection, right? In lemon example, you can understand in this way. <clears throat> I always give this kind of example so you can correlate these things. So let's suppose you build a very beautiful house, very good house, right? The house is very nice. You, you know, in this house, you just uh, equip it with a lot of, you know, bedrooms, a lot of uh, dining areas you have, kitchen area we have, right? Other valuables thing you put it inside of your homes other valuable things you put it inside your home so this is your beautiful house and they having a lot of valuable items a lot of costly item but one thing you you know not put it here one thing do not put it here so what is that thing that is your gate main gate entry exit gate you are not going to put it here so what is going to happen so if their entry exit gate is not there <clears throat> entry could be the exit gate so if this gate is not there then what is going to be happen your building is very beautiful your house 
internal infrastructure is very beautiful you having the very good interior design right very costly very lavish kind of the you know infrastructure you build inside your house but you don't have the, any gates so anyone going to be enter inside your home anyone going to be enter inside your home let us suppose you are sleeping in the midnight and you don't have someone to you know take care of your gates so what is going to happen so might be might be someone is going to enter inside your home and take out some valuable item might be you go for the movie party you go for the birthday celebration you go for the some shopping in the malls you go for some outing for the you know any destinations like with the hill station or might be the foreign trip trip right so your house is empty nobody is there to take care of house and even you don't have the gates so any person can enter inside your house and if the person is going to enter they can do anything because there is no protections so to protect your house you the first basic security basic firewall just think about it basic firewall you put it here that is your gate that is your entry exit gate so you put a gate and after putting a gate you put a very good lock as well right <clears throat> so you put it a gate you put it locked so now if your house is locked and you are sleeping midnight you are going for the outing you are going for the shopping so at least someone is trying to enter your house they have to struggle it's not the freedom they can go any time and enter your house no it's not like that they have to struggle and what kind of struggle even they want to do some naughty stuff unwanted things they want to get out some kind of the valuable items from your house still they have to you know do some kind of the you know effort for that so i'm not saying your house is fully safe even by using this lock it's not fully safe there is a chance might be people will come and break this lock this is the highly possibility this is the highly possibility people will come and break this lock so if the people is going to break this lock again this is going to be you know a uh, high risk for your house someone is going to take out some valuable item from your house this is a high risk again so you are still not safe you are still not safe there is a high chance the people will go and take out the some item so your one layer of the protection this is your first layer of protection is also not enough to protect you so what is my second layer of protection second layer of protection i can put some kind of the dual gate this could be option i can put a dual gate might be you have seen many houses one is the wood gate right and another is the iron gate so two gates having a two locks but it's not like it's again there is a high chance i have seen and people have seen people are break these gates as well these are the like uh, possibility people can break both gate and go inside and do some kind of naughty stuff so still it's not 100% proof 100% full proof you can say my house is safe no still there is a chance there is going to be happen some kind of the unwanted activity so what is my third layer of of security i can put it here just to safeguard my um, safeguard my you know house i can deploy some security guard i can deploy some kind of a security guard so security guard will be sitting on the gate and if my lock is closed first layer second layer both layer my lock is closed so security guard even available physically on my site or my in front of my home so there is a less chance to you know some kind of the unwanted activity is going to be happen there is a less chance but what if security guard itself become a threat for you what it is possible right he himself like wanted to do some kind of the you know nonsense thing inside your house so he claim i was in washroom i went for some time or some year and someone entered i am not aware who was that right? this could be the possibility so still there is a chance you can ask a lot of question to him you can integrate him like integrate him right you can lodge a police complaint against him he was deploy himself so 
there is like some kind of the restriction is going to happen, but still it's not a full proof. Still it's a not a full proof. So what is the fourth layer of the deployment? Fourth level deployment, if you want to make your homes uh, very secure, so it is a chance you can install the CCTV. So CCTV having a feature, CCTV having a feature, it is going to capture every activities. So I'm not saying this is again 100% full secure. If you install the city CCTV, the thefts is not going to happen. It is going to happen, but there is a high chance if someone is going to do the thefts, they know that I'm under a radar of the CCTV. So my photo is going to be captured, my video is going to be captured, and I'll be easily catched by the police. So this is the high chance. So by deploying this, you having a let's suppose chance of the theft is uh, 50%, right? Then you just do the dual gate, it is going to reduce by the 40%. You just you go for the security guard might be it is going to reduce reduce by the 25 percent and if you go for the cctv risk is going to be reduced to the five percent so you can think there is a risk but there is a low risk there is a risk it's not the fully secure but there is a low risk here is the medium risk right or uh, low medium risk here you can see the medium risk here is the high risk you can see that so all the category you having a risk and but the moment you putting the more and more feature your house is going to be more secure but if you are going to put that all feature your cost is going to be high again right your cost is going to be high earlier just you have to pay for the your door single door and lock so here cost cost was low if the cost was low then you having the high threat probability you put a little bit more cost you apply the dual gate wood plus iron cost is a little bit high just a little bit high but you having the again like medium level of the risk if you put the security guard again your cost is going to be high then again you having the like lower kind of the risk and once you put the cctv again you having the more and more cost but again risk is high so the fundamental of this story the more the more sugar you put in the any item that is going to more sweeter but it is going to like cost your money right so similarly if you want to if you want to secure your house you, if you want to secure infrastructure you have to go with the more and more feature for that we have to pay the more and more cost similarly this is your infrastructure this is your house infrastructure this is the physical infrastructure for that you are securing that by using that all mechanism but let's say, suppose this infrastructure is not the physical infrastructure this is the logical infrastructure then how it is going to be secure how this is going to be secure let's suppose this is not your house this is might be your company and your company having a lot of it assets your company having a wlc your company having the printers your company having the firewalls your company having the routers right it could be the multiple devices let me just write it here your company having the ap your company having the routers right your company having some kind of the servers your company having a laptops your company having the pc your company having the wlc your company having the iot devices right your company having some other kind of the uh your network devices like the printer as well right so etc you can just think about etc so these are the devices and they are inside of your company so let's suppose some devices are here 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 so these devices what they need to do? this company this is your physical boundary of the company this is your office location where you sit and do the some kind of the official work so this is the boundary of your office location inside of your boundary there is a server room there is like kind of the router is going to be configured some kind of the pc is going to be located some kind of the uh like wlc is going to place some kind of the access point is going to place some kind of the printer is going to place so who is going to access those devices so being a user you are going to access those devices being a user you are going to access those devices right so 
and these devices also need to talk to some internet or data center might be let's suppose this pc this is your pc right or this is server this server need to talk to the internet right because for the up update right some kind of the patch updation so how they are going to the internet so one is the physical security here you having the exit and entry gate exit gate you having the and entry gate you having here right so you are going here in and out you are coming that is a physical gate so while going in and out your company is scanning every activity via the cctv via the access card whatever you have and the security guards are deploying in front of the company so they are checking for your all activities the human activities whatever the happening that human activity are going to track by the physical security that is the physical security guard access card is going to be required the cctv camera these are all the physical security so when someone is going inside your company and going out from your company then you having a lot of kind of the checks available you are like uh, just checking and if everything is meeting as per your company norms then only you are allowing people should go in or out right even someone is going with bags many company are doing the bag checks while exit employee might be he is not taking out some kind of the assets from the company right it is possible i'm inside of the company i can take one of the ap and go out i can take on one of the colleague laptop and go out it is a possible highly chance we can do that right just give me one second it is a highly chance we can not do that because humans having that kind of the uh, nature they can sometime do some you know naughty stuffs so you are protecting your physical all communication which is happening over the end, exit and entry gate similarly the laptop user is connected and they are talking to the internet the laptop user are connected and they are talking to the internet so they are going one of the router is connected here router is connected via the isp link right so you are from the, your office there is another gate there is another gate to go out and you are accessing google.com here you are accessing yahoo.com here you are watching the facebook you are using the gmail right lot of n etc lot of activity you are doing so might be let us suppose you are the company employee and you are seated here let's suppose it's you and this is your laptop this laptop connected with the switch and this is switch is connected to the router this laptop company given some kind of the confidential document this company gives some kind of the confidential document which not share to anyone which not share to anyone if you going to share that document might be my company is going to lose lot of revenue my company is going to lose lot of revenue but this employee having intention to you know share those confidential information to their colleague or over the internet and then because of him company is going to loss lot of you know money so how this thing is going to protect it because this is not going to pass via this physical gate this activity is not going to process via this physical gate it is going via the logical gate you can see this is a logical gate in this place there is no security guard there is no cctv camera there is no some kind of the access method applied here so this is my logical gate and this logical gate doesn't having any kind of the checks available so how i can protect them how i can protect them my data should not leak from the company might be someone from the internet let's suppose this is the hacker he wanted to hack my system might be this server this pc anything he want to hack that so he is coming from the internet and try to hack so this is the gate you can say and if he can cross this gate and he can hack my system so again i can lose my you know company data again i can lose my company data or i have to pay a lot of you know money to them in case he just compromise my systems 
so this is again a risk so this gate also must be protected this gate must be protected so this is a logical gate and must be protected so who is going to protect them we having a device as router router having the capability the answer is no it's not having the capability to protect the gate the switch having a capability no the switch itself not having capability to protect the gate so what is the device that is going to help me to protect these all kind of the logical security so that device known as the firewall it's not the fortinet firewall it's not the supposed firewall it's not the asa firewall it's not like the checkpoint firewall it's not the palo alto any firewall any next generation firewall if you are going to purchase from the market they are going to put in front of your company premises and they are going to provide the logical security i hope you guys understand this little bit theory so the if you want to achieve the logical security so any communication is happening through the network if any communication is happening through the network and you want to protect them <clears throat> then this logical security come in a picture and it is going to provide the lot of security features so what are the security feature they are going to provide you what are the security feature they are going to provide you so let's say suppose you i've just given one of the example that is data breach but there could be the multiple examples not only data is important for you there is a important you having a threat so what is the threat so threats are like the virus like you having the malwares you having a dos attacks right you having kind of the vulnerability attack so these are the threats it could be the any kind of threats let's suppose any kind of virus is going to be downloaded any kind of the vulnerability attack is going to be happen so those kind of the threats this threat is going to be available uh, threat management device is going to be available within the firewalls next generation firewall and they are going to scan those threats means any kind of suspicious activity which is going to happen that is going to like available inside the firewall and those are going to support you to just provide the any kind of the threat related attacks so for 14 it is specific if you talk about we having one of the system that is known as a utm so in this device we having the utm that known as the unified threat management this is the one of the feature or tool or you can just think about the module available so anything related to threat if let's suppose fortinet firewall have to scan all the data means whatever the user is going to internet might be user transmitting some kind of the unwanted activity might be you are clicking some internet based link which having the viruses which having the any kind of the vulnerability attack kind of the stuff any spying activity so this utm feature this unified threat management is a feature available with the 40 gate firewall that is integrated with the multiple security feature into single device that feature is integrated with the your 40 gate firewall which provide the single like uh, that is a single device but provide the multiple security features and what are those important capability likewise if you want to scan the antivirus right so this is a this is going to help you so antivirus is going to help you intrusion prevention right so what is the intrusion it's again kind of the threats like any kind of the malware and all wave filtering wave filtering also going to provide any kind of the url filtering also going to have any dns control we having a separate module but yes you can just think about like anything related to security that always going to happen with the help of the utm we'll discuss more deep dive how this functionality is going to happen what all like prerequisites going to happen and how step by step configuration is going to be done for this kind of the you know uh like support so let me just show, show you a little, little, little bit about the labs also so let me just give the little bit idea about the 40 gate firewall so see this is a 40 gate firewall this is our lab topology let me see what happened So this is my uh, 40 gate firewall, right? So let me just log in it. So we'll do the step-by-step -step deployment as well in upcoming classes.
Yes, Nasad, I noted your query. You need a Versa SDN course. Definitely, we'll give that. Okay. Versa SDN. Definitely, it's a very important. So this is the forty gate firewall. So you can see here. So I was just talking about the like uh, UTM feature. So these are the like wave filtering. You want to integrate the intrusion prevention systems, right? Detection system, antivirus, right? Firmware. You can see I've done updates. So here we having you can see security profiles so these are going to do a lot of things dns filtering video filtering application control intrusion preventions ssl inspections file transfer application and signature ips signature wave rating override wave file overrides so these are the like different different techniques which you're going to use for a different different use case scenario but most of the file transfer dns filtering wave filtering intrusion prevention application controls these are the part of the utms right so these all sections security profiles like this is the kind of the ids ips feature if you are aware about cisco uh, they known as the ips and ids that is basically going to help you to just you know secure your network uh, by using this next generation features, any kind of the virus, any spying activity, any kind of the data leak, any kind of the wave, if you want to control, that all are going to happen. So we'll do the discuss step by step how these things all is going to be configured in the real firewall, how the profile is going to be created, and how this profile is going to be created, and how the policy is going to be apply like different different protocols, and how we can call them in the policies. So we'll do step by step in a later stage, but we are just discussing about the basic fundamental today. So once we start doing the step by step configuration, then we'll understand. The second thing about the next generation firewall we have, the firewall name itself is a next generation firewall. The firewall its name, someone is going to ask why we call the firewall as a next generation firewall. Many times people come in the interview and ask why we call the firewall as a next generation firewall and people not having the answer, trust me. If I ask any students or my professional, why next generation firewall? Why not we call simple firewall? Why you use the next generation? So they not having the correct answers because they don't know about this all. Sorry. So we have to understand why this firewall is known as a next generation firewall. So there is a very key concept. I'm just giving the short summary okay we'll discuss in more why next generation firewall in this section let me just show you so you will get you will get understanding why this next generation firewall is going to be important so we'll have the separate session okay stateless and stateful firewall then i'll explain each and everything why but you just have to understand there is two types of the firewall one is the legacy firewall and one is the next generation firewall so you can see you can just think about this is the old firewall or legacy firewall whatever you can think so this is the old firewall and this is the next generation firewall or you can just say new firewall next generation firewall so what was old firewall was doing and what having the problem with the old firewall that is going to mitigate by the next generation firewall we have to understand to so see whenever we talk about the any packets whenever you talk about the any packet let's suppose this is my packet right so we have to understand in this packet what kind of data we have what kind of data we have so let me just draw something here so you guys can let me understand it means what kind of content we have in the firewalls so see this is the first row so we having a source mac let me just write it here so the first field is the source mac yes mac let me just write here or yes m again we having a destination mac source ip right we having a destination ip we having the you know source port right we having a destination port right we having the applications app id you can just see what application detail right let me just write from here so app app id then we having some other feature as well right but i'm not going to write it here but last thing uh, i'll explain what those feature could be uh, based on the your content and other parameter user id ad everything right but you just leave it for blank right now 
but last we having the actual content we know the payload actual data or you can just think what this is the actual content like you attach one of the you know excel file you writing one of the email that actual content so what is this so first two field you known as the layer two field right we know that this is a layer two information this information is a layer two now what is this this is known as the layer three information okay and this is known as the layer four information so this is my layer four information and this is the layer seven information so one packet having layer two layer three layer four and layer seven because uh, five six uh, uh, and seven are clubbed together in tcp ip model and this become the layer seven only right last one is the actual data content as you know the actual content so this is the actual data actual data content which you are trying to send right this is the packet so if you talk about the old firewall if you talk about the old firewall this firewall having the capability to just understand and process two field that is the layer three and layer four this firewall only can allow the traffic based on the ip or port number that's all nothing more than that in limited case they having the capability to just understand a little bit application and protocol number but again it's a limited so this was the key things we have to understand means the legacy firewall only understand the ip and port numbers routers can understand the ip and port number but they also having very limited capability it's not like you just having the very difficult to manage those every configuration to just give them you know security level of stuff in the router because the processing is going to be very high so this firewall basically whatever uh, you are just talking about the old firewall just understand they having a limited packet filter and the port filter capabilities if you want to do some kind of the inspection based on the application based on the application or layer two that might be you will struggle layer two you can do a little bit based on the mac address you can do some kind of the uh, blocking and allow but in application layer seven let's suppose you want to allow the routing based on the facebook application based on the whatsapp application based on the youtube application based on the instagram application you can't do that you can't do that they don't have capability to understand the applications in the old firewall right so next generation firewall is giving the freedom to inspect the traffic based on the application do the routing based on the application do some kind of the you know traffic management based on the applications more important thing apart from this layer 7 they also understand your content every content you are sending through the firewall earlier there was no content inspection was happening whatever content you are sending and receiving the firewall is going to process no checks no checks but if you are going to use right a yeah, source port yes ajay source port and distance about layer 4 right source port distance about layer 4 here you can see source port and distance about layer 4 only you're correct so if you want to do some kind of the inspection based on the content this was not possible in the legacy firewall it is only possible in the next generation firewall so what is the content is going to be carry so let's say suppose i give you the example let's say suppose your company saying pdf file pdf file could not be sent through the internet link your all pdf file is blocked so if your pdf file is blocked then how this is possible this is a part of the content because pdf is always going via the content it's like document so it's a content so this is not layer three layer four and layer seven application it's a content so who is going to understand this pdf file need to be blocked so next generation firewall if you're defining the policy 
if you're defining the policy based on this file transfer file filter you can see if you're creating a rule my file should be blocked based on the different different kind of situation i can create a rule and based on the creating the rule i can just add the file type let's suppose here you can search the pdf right so you'll find this is my pdf file and this pdf file can be monitored can be blocked so if i'm creating the policy i'm blocking the pdf file that is possible so anything if i want to add more applications like let's suppose i want to block the excel file as well so you can just uh exe file excel file it's not say microsoft office ms office yeah you can see if you want to block the ms office file this is also possible you can block the ms file right so document excel every file is coming in this ppt you want to block that can be blocked this is a possible so in the old firewalls this was not possible so this is the beauty of the next generation firewall so next generation firewall not inspecting your only layer 2 layer 3 layer 4 and layer 7 they inspect your content let's suppose you downloading any file that file having the virus so who is going to check the file having the virus or not so if you are creating the security profile and you are attaching with the security policy then they are going to understand like if my file is having any kind of the virus right in the http file smtp file pop3 imap ftp whatever the file i am just receiving they having the virus i want to scan and if there is a virus i want to block or monitor both option available here so if i am create a rule and i want to block the antivirus right block virus so any file having the virus right they are going to block so based on the any file type this filter is also going to be used you can use you can click and we can deploy right any kind of the like you want to do the web filtering like the url filtering right you can block it we having a lot of url block you can just click url block you can define the url which url you want to block this could be the main url like you want to block the www.facebook.com right so you can block the urls whatever you want to do that so we'll do a step by step how this all is going to be happen how this all is going to be created but i'm just saying the story how this is going to be useful in the next generation firewall so this next generation firewall is a very capable and very sophisticated to meet new next generation security requirement we use digital era security requirement that's why the next generation firewall come in a picture because they having the very good versatile feature available in compared to the legacy firewalls i hope you guys understand it right so the utm is a threat management unified threat management next generation firewall they also support the vpn services so virtual private network we'll do the how the ipsec is going to be created how the you know uh, site to site client to site vpn is going to be created they having the multiple vendor integration for the meeting the security you want to integrate with a third party vendor they are also going to do that you want to protect with the advanced threat protections right so they having the mechanism like advanced threat protect, uh, like potential uh, protection like the application control intrusion prevention so fortigate firewall utilize the advanced threat detection mechanism that is a real base based on the sandbox and all right and that sandboxing feature is going to real time analysis going to do let's suppose i develop everything to protection let's suppose i am the one of the doctor i develop the all medicines but one of the new like uh, uh, like some kind of the disease uh, uh, arrive in the market and there is no medicine for that so how the medicine is quickly going to be created to protect such kind of disease did like the covid the all medicine are available in the market but still no one is able to you know understand the requirement how we can protect the people so similarly the advanced threat protection adp is the feature where the 40 gate firewall use the sandbox feature for the real time inspection of the traffic real time inspection of the signature real time inspection of the any kind of the threats and based on that they will give you the some kind of the uh, idea how you can trade this like traffic so ajay is asking what is the sandboxing so sandboxing is nothing it's like cloud based some kind of the very like uh, big data center you can think they having the very 
uh, robust algorithm based on the AI, based on the machine learning. So what is happening? Let me just give the example. It's a good question. So let's just suppose this is your firewall. Let me just go on the diagram so you guys can understand this. This is a firewall, right? So this firewall is going to communicate via the internet. Okay. So this firewall is going to communicate with the internet and you having the all like known signature here known means all signature you take in the firewall so means if any virus is going to match with available signature in the firewall data are that are going to be blocked here but there is a high chance the hackers are developed the new virus and that signature is not available here then how it is going to happen this is not going to protect it this is not going to protect it so you might be have the risk your system is going to be compromised your system is going to be compromised so to protect those kind of the new virus new signature there is a feature that is known as the sandbox right so sandbox is nothing sorry the pain is not working sandbox is nothing sandbox is something a uh, cloud based feature that is available from the fortinet cloud and your all traffic is going to scan so means whatever you are doing the communication they are going to send one copy of the traffic to the sandbox and this sandbox is going to analyze those traffic and if it is going to found any kind of the suspicious activity any kind of the malicious activity any kind of the threat activity any kind of vulnerability activity they are going to report you back this communication which has been done in the past you have to block it with the new signature so you have to pay extra because they are going to do the monitoring real time so let's suppose like you having the all protection you having the gate you having the you know um, uh, like security guard but you deploy the cctv camera here so even you are not available and you just start the monitoring so if someone unknown is going to arrive to your house you having the figure of those and you give the alert to the security guard hey someone is coming to your house that is unknown might be very careful so security guard is going to stop because someone is watching so security guard cannot say i'm not aware because they having evidence they can see so similar real time monitoring all traffic if you want to real time monitoring sandbox come in a picture and they keep monitoring that all kind of the things so that's why forty gate firewalls are a part of the forty gate uh, or forty net security fabric and they having the advanced threat protection mechanism and detect the protection detect the any kind of the advanced threats and also having the mitigation plan as well and block the uh, sophisticated or like the very new threats such as a zero day attack so atp is a very you know useful for the our all security domain in addition of that we having the wave filtering content filtering which i showed here we can see the wave filtering content filter. this is also like the uh, good feature and we just have to use ssh and ssl instruction we have that we all have to use right so i'm unmuting everyone and uh, you guys can unmute yourself and ask the question if you have anything till now because uh, in last uh, 45 to 6 minute i am speaking so if you, anyone having any question, open question, please feel, feel free to ask so we can have a discussion. So Dhirendra is asking, you can even then unmute yourself. So if you want to have a discussion. So every vendor firewall having the sandbox feature or any specific hardware vendor, no. Every vendor firewalls, like the Palo Alto also having the wildfire subscriptions, right? This is known as a FortiGate having that uh, zero day attack is the ATP advanced uh, threat prevention, right? So every like Cisco also having their uh, <coughs> sandbox, right? Cloud based uh, monitoring, threat analyzing tools and all. So all are we having there, right? Okay, Dhiran, I hope you got it. Ajay is asking difference uh, difference between the wave filtering and the content filtering it is a good question so what is the wave filtering so wave filtering is something the url filtering the wave filtering is here you can see wave filtering is the url filtering means you want to filter the urls based on the url category how it is going to happen so let me show you let's suppose 
you restrict your company employee should not use any drug based websites you restrict your company employee not use based on the drug websites so you can define like the forty guard filtering and you can just define and you can just apply drug abuse right this kind of url is not going to be you know used so you can just block you can see here you can just click and you can block it so you can see this is a block so drug url always going to be blocked for your company any hacking you want to block it can be blocked any kind of the uh, crypto mining and all any kind of the aversion adult gambling dating pornography these all you want to block you can block so it means url category means any url so see in the you know url category whatever the domain you define right so domain once you take from the godaddy or any websites by default there is a logic there is some kind of the mechanism working in the back end they analyze the domain contents right there is a lot of tools the company use and based on the contents they define that domain which category they are belongs so any domain you have you can well known domain not all domains well known domain like the facebook is a well known public domain you can just think about it which can be accessible from anywhere that is going to use that is going to define and based on the uses and defining the any url if you are going to use from such domains that can be filtered that can be monitored that can be allowed that can be blocked that can be give the warning and authenticated anything going to be happen so this is the url so url means whatever website you are accessing content means the actual packet which having an actual data means you are writing the emails email you are writing hey my name is xyz so in email the xyz my name is xyz that is your content in email you are attaching the excel file that is your content in email you are sending something as a video attachment that is your content you are downloading something internet might be the virus is there that is the content so that is the content you got it as a the difference between the url and the content <clears throat> right so any other question till now or shall i just uh, give some uh, idea about the 40 gig products all right thank you ajay so now you can see here like uh, once we start this right so we having the official book here right so we'll go step by step right how this uh, step by step configuration is going to be happen so we'll start from very zero so the first lab we are going to do that right how the initial configuration is going to happen let's say suppose you having the very new firewall right so how basically you are going to configure those firewall yes flow diagram we'll discuss uh, for it as a later stage right uh, so to not today but let us say we will have discussion so let us suppose <coughs> you want to you want to uh, configure any of the firewall how this is going to be configured in initial stage how this firewall is going to take the you know cli access gui access from the very new from the very scratch so those kind of the understanding you are going to get what is the default username and password what is the default ip you have to use to log in the firewall at the first time so i'll explain step by step and that will just navigate the step by step how the firewall is going to be logged in how the fortinet is going to look like and we'll do the all testing so this book is going to cover almost all topic like the vpn sdbn not part of this uh slavers because this is advanced so sdbn we are not going to we are just going to cover the you know, security features so policy zero trust network access vpn user authentication wireless not we are going to touch and log report and uh, you can see about the 14 net security fabric systems and everything we are going to cover that right so this is like the official documentation we having a lot of official documentation we will go one by one we'll try to do each and everything and uh, most important thing lab can be accessible from anywhere so you just have to use the urls and you just have to like similar url you just have to use you will get the url you just require the internet access and after getting the internet access you just have to put your username and password here right and uh, likewise i'm the admin so you can just log in the labs you can navigate your labs <clears throat> based on your rules 
you might be have the different different labs you could be the coordinate lab someone is the Palo Alto someone is CCNS Cisco SD WAN we have in the suppose Velo Cloud SD WAN we have in that you know uh, Versa SD WAN so here is not available Versa but in different uh, ICE labs so different different labs we have and we can explore those labs anywhere anytime so 24 into 7 labs will be available right and uh, you guys can do the practice anytime so there is no problem for the lab as well right so this is the best thing because without lab i don't think you know the learning is going to be completed so once we do the study the lab is also going to help you to just you know clarify all your doubts right so we're having the very good products for this 40 gate uh, especially the firewall related so they're having a major three products so the one is like we having the 40 analyzer right so 40 analyzer uh, is something let me just uh, <coughs> put it here so we having a 40 analyzer right and uh, we having the 40 manager and uh, we having the 40 clients so let me just one one by one just analyze it here so the third one we having the 40 client so let me just quickly brief it so what are these three products right when we are going to understand uh, some feature we can explore based on the license ability but uh, at least we have to understand because these are the key things we just have to know about this uh, training durations so 40 gate firewalls uh, come with the three flavors that having a dependence that is 40 net analyzer 40 gate manager and 40 gate uh, 40 client side so 40 net analyzer is something just we want to analyze the logs so centralized tool right centralized tool is system where basically we can do the analysis what kind of the activity is happening in my network what kind of the logs i have right what kind of the reporting i want to collect from my the systems right so data everything you want to analyze right any report you want to put that is the analyzer is going to do that all jobs so that is all about the analyzer 40 manager is single pan of glass by sitting there you can do all configuration you can manage all the firewalls like the panorama in the Palo Alto, right so we manage in a cisco sd band <coughs> similar kind of the 40 manager is a centralized management solution that allow organizations to configure monitor update multiple 40 gate firewall devices from the single pan of glass single console right means one of the 40 manager acting as single console you don't have to log in one by one to all firewalls it's a simple definition so it's a seamless uh, like the management monitoring system like the 14 analyzer and the configuration system is the 14 manager you can do the security policy firmware upgradation protest and other configuration from the 40 manager and 40 client is just the acting as a vpns like the global product we have cisco any connect we have so if working someone is working from the home you can see this is the any connect vpn are we having the g scaler that is a gpa vpn you can see here this is gpa so this is a sorry this is the client connector not gpa gpa is one of the products so this is the client connector similar we having the 40 clients so 40 client is an end point production solution means if you're working from the remote and you just want to provide some kind of the capability to just protect your devices from the antivirus anti malware vpn capability for the desktop laptop and mobile it's help to secure devices connecting to the network whether you you are in the corporate network or might be the remote network so this 40 client is a very useful so uh, this is going to under, come in under the site to site VPN is the we just have to do at the 40 gate firewalls but the 40 net uh, client is going to for the client to site remote VPNs right so this is all about the 40 gate uh, firewall features we understand about the 40 gate solution so I hope you guys are happy till now any further question please feel free to ask so I'll probably help you to uh justify yes g scalar classes is available so uh, the g scalar class uh, anyone looking to join they can join uh yeah so this is this g scalar is now available with us anything else guys any question any suggestion any feedback you want to give or we are good for today All right, so I believe uh, uh, it uh, 
like it looks all good from everyone so i'm just stopping my sharing and i wish you all the best for everyone right see you in the next class okay bye bye take care